to our school's DBE superintendent, Dr. Isagani Estela Cruz, CISO 5, to our assistant school's DBE superintendent, Dr. Natividad G. Ocon, CISO 6, to our two chiefs, SGOD, Sir Costes, for the curriculum, uh, Sir Dakipil, Municipal Adapter, Ma'am Margie Bakasait, and to our Dimipa Queen, Ma'am Nelda Damo, to my fellow cluster heads, to our different district supervisors in Zone 6, to each and everyone, good afternoon. Here is now our Dimipa report for the third quarter, which is entitled Efficiency and Holding Power of Schools. Our battle cry in terms of Dimipa in Antipan is Anak natin ay tutukan, itaguyod, pag-aralin, akayin, at sagipin. For program and preventive progress, we meet the standard in terms of MOE release. The three schools, namely Antipas National High School, an implementing unit, Malatab and Mallory High School, an operating unit together with Kamutan High School. But sad to say that Kamutan High School have not been received their MOE due to account number problem. As we all know that Motan High School has new school head because the previous school head is now in Malatab High School. Maatipas National High School have received their MOE from January up to September while Malatab and Malari High School have received their first and second quarter on MOE. We have used, we utilized our MOE based on our WEP or Work Financial Plan. For the standards that we have not met, first is IP education. Only few residents in the municipality are IPs. So there's a problem on that. Second, funds for reproduction of SLMs. We are still in the process of preparing our WAP, especially that all schools are recipient of additional MOE based on the list given or released by the division office. For our enrollment, we have increased for the past three years. For grade 7 of Antipas National High School, our three years enrollment are as follows. For grade 7, 394, 464, and 483 for this year. For grade 8, 296, 349, and 429. So there is an increase for the grade 7 and grade 8. But for grade 9, 307, 296, and 365, there is a fluctuating enrollment. For grade 10, 259, 300, and for this school year is 299, still fluctuating. For Malatab High School, we have 82, 85, 91 for grade 7 for the past 3 years for grade 8 71 75 and 84 so they have also increased the enrollment for grade 7 and grade 8 but for grade 9 in the list is 66 62 and 74 still fluctuating the same in the Antipas National High School and for grade 10, 57, 54, and 63 fluctuating. For Mallory High School, 48, 47, and 46 uh, decreasing. For grade 8, 21, 40, and 48 increasing. For grade 9, 31, 29, 35, fluctuating, and for grade 10, 34, 28, 
32, block 18. For Kamutan High School, for grade 7, 60, 52, 49, decreasing. For grade 8, 30, 48, 54, 54, increasing. For grade 9, 31, 22, 40, block 20, and for grade 10, 26, 27, 21, block 20. For the total enrollment for junior high school, Antipas National High School is increasing for the past three years. We have 1,256, 1,046. And 1,578 for the past three years. So there is an increasing trend in enrollment for Antipas National High School. For Malatab High School, 276, 278, and 312 increasing. For Malari High School, 134, 144, and 161 increasing. For Kamutan High School, for the past three years is 140. 7, 147, and 164 increasing. Based on the last year enrollment, Antipas National High School manifested 13% increase in enrollment. Malatab High School has also 13% increase in enrollment, while Marley and Kamutan High School have 12% increase in enrollment. For the senior high school, For grade 11, the enrollment is 425. For grade 12, is 351 with a total enrollment of 776. For Malatab High School, which is the another school that offers senior high school, the enrollment is 59 for grade. 11 and 33 for grade 12, a total of 82. So for the overall senior high school enrollment for the past three years, so Antipas National High School have manifested 543 enrollment. Then the next school year, 668 enrollment, and for this year is 776. Enrollment. It manifests this that there is an increase for every year, while in Malatab High School is from 74, 81, then 83. There is also an increase in the past three years. For the senior high school enrollment per strand, in the graph it is obvious that the Hume's strand has the highest enrollment. For grade 11, we have an enrollment of 260, and for grade 12, we have enrollment of 200. For the STEM, we have enrollment of for grade 11 of 45, and for grade 12, 46. For EBM, our enrollment for grade 11 is 38, and for grade 12 is 23. For SMAU. 37 and another 37 for grade 12. For ICT, we have enrollment for grade 11 at 45, and for the grade 12 is also 45. In Malatab High School, for their new curricular offering, which assumes they have an enrollment of 21, and For grade 12, we offered GAS for last year, which has an enrollment of 13. For their agri-crop, they have enrollment of 28. For grade 11 and for grade 12, they have an enrollment of 20. With regards to segmentation data of enrollment by learning modalities, all schools will be using modular since this is only way that is available uh, and no one choose to use TV, radio and online learning because we have problem in our internet connection in our municipality. With regard to school readiness assessment by 
level for the new normal in regards to teacher's training the teacher's status training is in the cluster is still progressing almost all teachers are built training whether it is in the municipal level division regional and national level though there are trainings which we never attended because there is a problem in our internet connectivity. With regards to SLM production, we are glad to inform that the RISO machine in Antipas National High School is being used for the reproduction of the modules. We have an advanced dry run for the distribution of and the three bottles of modules. All schools in the cluster were able to make advanced production of modules and we are now on the third week. With regards to orientation of parents and guardians, all schools in the cluster were able to orient parents and guardians with the new normal setup. We also invited different agencies to speak in order to further disseminate the significance of the new normal approach. With regard to health and safety protocols and PFA, as a part of health and safety protocols, all schools in the clusters will able to facilitate essential materials, alcohol, face masks, sanitizers, and other important things to prevent the spread of the virus. All schools that being used as an isolation were also disinfect with the help of the DRRM in our municipality. We will now come to agenda, suggestion, and recommendation. We listed that we should exhaust all means to complete all modules because as of now we are still on the third week. Second, strengthen support a student from many factors for their daily scholastic needs, especially with regards to their essential needs. Third, intensify linkages with the local leaders in the delivery retrieval of modules for the safety of teachers. Fourth, request funds for fuel of vehicles from LGU from the local school board funds. Our vice mayor have assured us that uh, Saguniang Bayan will be in support with our request for fuel from our local school board fund. PIP motivate teachers to update themselves with the new normal scheme, especially in the a delivery and retrieval of module. Six is anticipate parents' participation participation in mentoring their students so that there will be a maximize of learning of their children. Thank you and more power.